go for the exchange. So that's going to give me a totally different position to what I'm kind of used to. And bringing the knight in front, blocking the queen. Let's take it anyway. So I'm putting myself in positions that I'm not really familiar with. I don't usually play like this, just to get a feel. And I'm actually going to attack the centre pawn here, the head of the snake, like we say, and then grab with the knight. So in my head, I'm, I'm pushing myself to try and get to a position. I'm going to attack the queen with the knight. I'm trying to get myself into a position where I feel it's familiar. But because I've started differently, the position that I do end up in, even though I feel like it's going to be the same, it probably isn't. There'll be the smallest of differences. It's just based on my own experience, recent experience, trying to develop my chess as we're going through. So a lot of work with the queen. So we got time to bring our bishop out and maybe go and castle. What's his queen doing? Anything? No, let's just bring the bishop out. Uh, there's no bishop here. Queen... Uh, Safely castle. Let's just castle, don't overthink it. So we've got like a pawn attack coming down here now. If I bring the rook here, I know the bishop's protecting it at the moment. And if we can just start maybe mobilising the knight up and then come around to attack the queen, if the queen is going to stay there. Just mindful he's got the pawn that can drop down. But a plan is a plan, at least there's a plan in place. So, oh, and the Queen's moved again. So it's gone out of the way of the attack. So if we get here, can't go there because the King's blocking. Is there anything that the Queen can do? The Queen's not got access to here. So it could sit nicely in the middle, but it won't stay there for long because the Knight will challenge it. And if the knight jumps here, then the queen takes the pawn. So we have to be mindful of that. So we could put a two on one with the bishop on here. I think we're going to go with that. So hopefully it gives them something to think about at least. And also this queen is supporting the pawn. So if the knight then does jump. So I'm going to take and attack the bishop. And obviously, we've got to check on the king. Probably need to bring the rook back. So I don't really want to support it with the queen. It's not doing that. Right up. I don't think there's anything there yet for the knight. Queen onto a white square, maybe squeezing in here. Move it there so I can hopefully try and get this rook here. Oh, it's gone. Oh, God, if it was a blitzy type thing, I'd have just shot straight here or even to this square. But I'm going to long play nice and steady away. We do have the accesses to these squares with the queen or the knight even. Okay, I'm going to take because it's only got the queen supporting. So it gives us space to potentially go here, but they may just bring the rook. Uh, well, the thing is, I mean, he loses his queen. Because we've got to check on the king. Well, these games are kind of ending a little bit quick, aren't they? And dear me, this isn't usually the... Way and this one's left the game as well. 